Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? You're yeah, pretty good. Um, I've got the status report all done. What I thought I'd do is give you a bit of a run through. Let me just get into it here. Good to see you've got it all done on time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. Okay. It, as you know, this is a really exciting time for Barbecue Fun, um, with the website going up and, and everything. So the goal here is uh, implementing the e-commerce strategy. So we'll ju I'll just talk to this yep. um, and using this as a bit of a prompt. So we've got a few goals in mind, of course, redeveloping the website, um, the resources being staff, and also those pickup trucks and forklifts that we need for delivery as well. Um, recruiting and training the staff, online sales is a little bit different for them walking in to the shop. Yep. Uh, of course, our profit targets, adhering to budget, um, and of course the timelines, those two are very closely linked, because <laughs> if we go over, uh, it's not gonna be that good. No. <laughs> okay, so there's a few performance indicators that I was given and what you can see here is I've just done a little bit of a snapshot. Now I've fleshed them all out on, on the paper there. I'll go through them a little bit at a time. The quality of online sales and service, we actually had a, a target of 1%. Unfortunately at the moment the percentage is 10%, but the deviation is 10%, so that's why I've made it only an amber instead of a red. Okay. Um, if it was 11%, it would be something that we really need to action now. Yep. But I do believe that once we get the training, uh, and I've got some comments down there, um, staff are still not familiar with the product line, um, we need some job aids, and of course, um, low staff morale as well will um, pick up on that as well. Let me just shake you through to here. Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's all right. Um, so yeah, so that's an amber, and that's something that I'm working on with HR to get um, courses developed and things. Right. The next one is the speed of online sales and service on page three. I've got that as amber as well. The target is ten minutes, but the average time to complete is twenty minutes. So it's a little bit long as far as um, talking to the customer and average handling time. But I think because also the staff still don't quite know the product, yeah. so I think that once we go through the sales um, training, mm -hmm. that they'll be a little bit better than that. Um, did you have any questions on those two at all? Uh, so with the, the speed of online sales, you're saying yeah. there's a direct sort of correlation with the quality of the online sales as far as the time it's taking. What are you estimating that the speed to competency will be to try and get that up to where it needs to at the moment? Well, we're looking at within the month. Okay. We've got training being developed. Um, and <clears throat> it's, as you know, it's a juggling act between your grade of service and when do you get time to do coaching yeah. and training. So um, we've really got to look at the base I won't start, but we really need to start looking at the base of training, sure. and that way I believe that the product will sit well on top. Okay. Um, yes, a lot, of, a lot of people are aborting the interaction due to the length of time to order completion, and this isn't good for us. Um, it's, it's not only for our staff, but it's also the website as well. Because it's new, a lot of people are crashing it. People are coming in and trying to buy things off it. So there's a couple of things, the staff and the technology as well. Um, I haven't spoken to IT about it yet, but that's something that's in my plan to do. Okay. Um, the next one is the speed of delivery, which is awesome. The target's three days, and currently the average delivery speed is three days. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know we can always do that better. Yeah. But um, everyone's really happy. They've got new new vans, driver morale is really high, 
Uh, they know they're running at 100%. Yep. So the guys are just really happy down there. That's good. Um, good very happy with that. Uh, the next one is the online sales and revenue. Um, yeah, target's 300,000 with 80,000 profit per quarter. So we generated 250. So we're roughly running at about half. But once again, it all comes back to you. Once we bring that up to speed, you'll yeah. find that will come up. Yeah. Um, budget success I've put as red. Page five. The reason why I've put it red is there's a currently a budget overrun of 10%. Mm -hmm. um, I've put it red because I really don't want it to blow out. Um, putting monitoring things in place so that I'm getting everybody to come back to me within the milestones. Yep. Show me receipts, tell me what they're doing so that we can make sure that everything runs on budget because we don't have the money to be paying all these extra wages no. as well. So that's why I've made that red because you know only a certain amount was approved. As you know. Yes, <laughs> got your limitations to work with. Um, and of course, the last thing is the um, e commerce project delivery. And the implementation of that is on track, and we are very, very happy with that. So let's just, I'm just going to quickly go through the key actions that I was given, and they are really fleshed out for you in individual um, things there. But we've got the new starters going, training's going to start soon, the website's being redeveloped on time and to budget at the moment. And of course, the delivery trucks and forklifts were bought and are now being used. So we're all good as far as all that's going. And that's a really good news story because there was a lot of stuff to... So much paperwork, isn't there? With the procurement, it's policy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, the risk update. Um, one of the risks was an inadequate training program. But as I said, the courses are being developed. Um, within the month, mm -hmm. so we're going to assess competency on those. Um, the, another risk was um, performance was lacking, quality was down um, without coaching, but we're going to put in a floor support in the interim yep. and an attrition plan is going to be developed because... And that's not going to stop us from having or missing other KPIs or anything if we're having that resources floor support? Um, this is a manager, so it's not going to be one of the one of the people on the phones. Um, this is really important because if we had an attrition plan, mm -hmm. they're all linked, aren't they? Really, but lack of coaching, people are walking out the door. Attrition plan needs to be developed so that this gets covered, and let's have a look when we need to get more people in. You can, it's it's a it's a bucket with a hole in it. Yeah. Isn't it? It's a fun balancing act. It is, isn't it? <laughs> um, the website downturn, we've talked about that already. Um, we just need the manager to regularly monitor, make sure that there's a quality of work that's gone out to the customer and keep AHT at the right level. And the last thing is the sales. We're about to go to web chat as well. Mm -hmm. So they need to be trained on that. Um, marketing are going to be looking at this very closely because obviously sales is what they do. But um, I know it's a new market and we need to break into it. Yeah. So have we got training programs developed for that at this stage or are they still in? They're still, this one's the most important one at the moment, but um, online sales um, and web chat um, specifically is, is being in the park workshop. Sure. Um, recommendations for improvement. You asked for three of them. Uh, I've given you four. <laughs> I know. What can I say? So I do believe that if we monitor and um, do random audits on them, we're going to increase, mm -hmm. uh, in deep, or reduce errors and increase income. Yep. Got it the other way around. <laughs> um, because really that was impacting a couple of our things went, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, physical resourcing's been um, achieving very well. Um, we just really need to finish off on that training. 
we keep saying we're going to do it, let's do that. Um, and the morale of the staff that's, that's in the sales centre at the moment, as, long, as soon as we start doing the training, then their quality is going to go up, then they're going to have to get less coaching, and or when they get coaching, it'll be a happy, a happy time instead of a, you know, come on, what's your game? Yeah. Um, so it'll be a better, better world for everybody. Um, quality improvement, that's just the end one that I put down here. Just regular coaching sessions and discussions, um, making sure that they understand what their KPR, KPIs are as well. And that'll tie in with your other online training for sales. Yeah. Um, it's very hard, isn't it, trying to coach somebody when they don't really understand what it is that they're supposed to do. So, Well done. Yeah, so if I can get your feedback on that, that would be really, really appreciated um, because I'm getting all of the sales team together yep. and I'm just going to run through with them what my feedback was and your feedback as well. Sure, no worries. Um, That's fine. But yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. I'll send you that presentation as well. No worries.